The Spirit in the Soul Temple, July 4 Know ye not that ye are the temple of God, and that the Spirit of God dwelleth in you? 1 Corinthians chapter 3, 16 From eternal ages, it was God's purpose that every created being, from the bright and holy seraph to man, should be a temple for the indwelling of the Creator. Because of sin, humanity ceased to be a temple for God. Darkened and defiled by evil, the heart of man no longer revealed the glory of the Divine One. But by the incarnation of the Son of God, the purpose of heaven is fulfilled. God dwells in humanity, and through saving grace, the heart of man becomes again his temple. God designed that the temple at Jerusalem should be a continual witness to the high destiny open to every soul. But the Jews had not understood the significance of the building they regarded with so much pride. They did not yield themselves as holy temples for the divine spirit. The courts of the temple at Jerusalem, filled with the tumult of unholy traffic, represented all too truly the temple of the heart. In cleansing the temple from the world's buyers and sellers, Jesus announced his mission to cleanse the heart from the defilement of sin, from the selfish lusts, the evil habits that corrupt the soul. No man can of himself cast out the evil throng that have taken possession of the heart. Only Christ can cleanse the soul temple. But he will not force an entrance. He comes into the heart as to the temple of old, but he says, Behold, I stand at the door and knock. If any man hear my voice and open the door, I will come in to him. Revelation chapter 3, 20. He will come, not for one day merely, for he says, I will dwell in them and walk in them, and they shall be my people. 2 Corinthians 6, 16. His presence will cleanse and sanctify the soul, so that it may be a holy temple unto the Lord, and an habitation of God through the Spirit. Ephesians 2.22 The Lord is more willing to give the Holy Spirit to those who serve Him than parents are to give good gifts to their children.